Welcome to Kids Try. My name is Jenna Carr and I'm 10 years old. My name is Mrs. Johnson and I'm Today's episode is brought to you by Smart Toys. Today we are building solar powered wooden cars. Here are some facts about solar power. What is solar power? Solar power is a renewable source of electricity and heat that comes from the sun. How do we use it? We use it by charging our phones sometimes and also our homes. Let's open our boxes, guys. What do you have inside? A solar panel, motor, rubber bands, screwdriver, and a couple of tools. Can I see that solar panel again? Can I see that motor? Perfect. What you should need, what you need is your instruction booklet. Your instruction booklet has everything that you will need to build your car. But for now, we're gonna start on at part one. So for part one, you'll need your screwdriver. You'll need your small, your small square, as well as Thank you, Jenna. Your rectangle square. Perfect. You take your small square and you insert it in the two flat uh, holes on your board. Perfect. Once you do that, you do need to, uh oh. <laughs> you do need to detach your solar panel from your motor. If it makes it easier for you, you can keep all of your pieces in that small plastic bag so you don't drop it. It's okay. So now you take your motor, insert it in your small squares hole. Just like this. So in order to keep it secure in place, your board A, it has four small discs. If you're having trouble, like we are getting pieces out, take the easier ones out first so you can just break the mold. But don't break your pieces and don't hurt yourself, please. Cause this, this is all wood. This is all wood and you can't get stolen. Here you go, Mason. All right, remember to look at your directions. Jenna, where are we? We are here. So yeah, you got it right. So once you have your motor inside of your holding space, you pop out one circle, one of those smaller circles from board A, and you place it on top of your motor. So if you look at your diagram, what it would like you to do is take 
your three discs and sandwich them together. Oh, and sandwich them together. Once you have them sandwiched, you can use your miniature screwdriver and your, I don't think it matters. I'm sorry, and your longer screws to screw them together. something like this when you are done. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if that was a good view. Something just like this. Perfect. OK, 
Okay, our next piece is to attach our axles and our wheels. So on your C board, you have a big back tire and on your B board, you have a big back tire. You would like to take these both of these out, but also prepare your but also prepare your caps, your black caps, two black caps, and one rubber band. Um, first things first, you enter your axle into the back hole of your car door. Just put it in just like that. Awesome. You don't want to put it all the way, all the way in though, because it does have to um, fit in another wheel. So leave some space. Leave some space. So now take, I'm sorry, one of your small circles from your A board. Take two of those out too, because this will help keep your wheel from sliding back and forth on the axle. So you have your roll, your circle. You got two of them. You only need one for now. And you want to put that on oops, your axle here. So if you need some help from an adult, please do not hesitate to ask because getting some of these wooden pieces on are very hard. And once that's on, you can put on your wheel. Once you have on your wheel, you can take one of your black caps here and put it on. Take a breather, everybody, because I know this is challenging. But now we get to move on to our handy dandy. So we take our rubber band, and not only do we hook it onto the round piece on our axle in between our car door. We put it, yep, you got it. We also hook it onto our small black piece, and this is where taking out that uh, middle area of our car door comes in, because it's no way you can, if you have chubby fingers like mine, there's no way you can get your finger through there. Oh, thank God for you to be with me. Um, so you hook it on here, and then you carry it through and hook it onto your black piece. Mason, did you do it already? I was about to say, that's that's saving for you guys. Good. I usually use a cheat. I take my screwdriver, I put it through our rubber band, and I carry it through. And that's for real, it helps, it works. Sorry, my hands are in the way. It works, it works. So, I mean, that's pretty much how I do it. Um. And now that we have that piece on, we'll wait for Mason so we can move on to our next step. But if you would like to jump ahead a little bit, you can remove your car door. Your, uh, I think that was our right car door. You can remove your left car door, put it on your base, and repeat those last three, two steps um, with the wheels. Oh, you got it? How do you do it? I'm telling you, it's, it's the power of children. I have no, any little Get your next door. Pop out your sides here, that side rectangle. 
Okay. I want you to go ahead and put your um, axle right through that wall before you secure anything in place. And if you can't fit your axle through the hole, that's how you know that you may need to, um, you may have given your other uh, wheel too much space. So you may have to adjust it a little bit. So go ahead, try to put it on. Try to get everything and click everything in place. Okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. So don't ever hesitate to ask some of your friends for help or to ask an adult for help. That is why we're here. We are here to help get everything together. All right, so now we can figure out what's going on with our wheel. So I think you gave it too much space over here. So we're gonna have to take some of that space back. All right, now you can go ahead and put your wheel on. So right now, your car is only sitting on one wheel. We can't go with that. We need our next one. Do not forget our process. We entered the uh, small disc on first. And now that you have another wheel to kind of help it out, it should be fine. It should be easier to put on. So take your last axle. You got it? Cool. Wheel's moving. Everything here is spinning. And you put it right on through the front. Two holes of your cars. It should be a hole on each side. And now, oh, wait. Yeah. And now you can pop out your smaller wheels because what you're gonna place on these smaller wheels is the same thing we did to our other ones. So you can just slide on your tire. You got it? With your black, here, take one of these. Here. Be careful taking out your tires. You slide your black, uh, stopper. Be careful. Come out of the tire. Okay. Take your tire. You okay, Missy? Mm -hmm. And since I misplaced my black, my last black wa uh, stopper, I'm using one of our smaller discs to keep it in place. Sometimes you have to improvise, guys. It don't always go the way you planned it. So you always have to be ready to improvise. And as long as all of your tires are moving, oh, mine sounds like a train. <laughs> mine sounds like a train. Look at what Oops, you okay. So, sorry, Nathan. I'm just gonna pop that in place. Make sure you always hear with your stoppers, you always hear that pop, because that pop means that it's not going anywhere. You don't want it to go anywhere. And our very last but not least step is, here you go, yep, it popped. Yep, it's your solar panel. So Mason's gonna show us how to put that. So what did I just do? Oh, I thought I broke it. Ooh, boy, I thought I broke it. Too rough. Okay, all right, sorry, quality control. Mm. Is our solar panel. So what Mason is doing, he's taking our solar panel wires and what we have to make sure we do with the solar panel is we have to align the color cord, the color wire with the matching color wire. So you want your red side to be with the red and your black side to be with the black when you connect it. And you should hear a small snap when it connects. I heard the small snap in spirit. <laughs> and you put it in this place here, and we're good. So we can call it. Now guys, we're gonna go and test it. Right? 